Hello, good morning and welcome to the United Stand. This is where you can get all your latest Manchester United transfer news with that real fan opinion. And it's a new week and it could be a very big device decisive. Could be a divisive one, should be a decisive week for Manchester United. I'm sort of, I'm edging on positivity and negativity here because positivity is lots of things need to happen this week. Negativity is we don't normally do stuff on the US tour, but, and we're on the US tour. We flew out last night, loads and loads of young players, Gomez, Chong, really excited to see it. Not sure Mourinho will ever use any of these players, but at least we get to see them playing some decent opposition. Can't wait for that, but that'll be later on the week. Watch alongs, everything like that. Gareth Bale's back in training today for Real Madrid. Gareth Bale has said himself and his agent has said, nothing is decided until I speak to the new manager and speak to the board. You would expect he's going to speak today and after today we should get some indication about whether he's going to stay, whether he's going to go. I think if he's going to stay that will come out very quickly. If he's going to go then it could rumble on, but we need to find out and you know what we might not even be in for bail where does this bail stuff come from it's just paper talk isn't it but is this what is this the deal that's going to get Manchester United fans back on board because at the moment there is a hell of a lot of negativity uncertainty and frustration around Manchester United I mean let's be honest that that team that's going on the tour when you look at it Herrera is pretty much the only experienced midfielder in there you've got McTominay Hamilton Pereira, there's not really much experience in there. James Garner, there's not really much experience in there at all. And they're going to be playing against Real Madrid and AC Milan and Liverpool. So it's a big, big concern. Um, and it's basically a youth squad that we're taking on tour. And we could have had a couple of more players involved in that, but we've not got it done. So Bale's an interesting one. Will we get over the line with that? Alexandro is another one. That deal probably this week will be done. Not necessarily to Manchester United, could be to PSG. Is there any truth that we're just going to go with Ashley Young next season? To me, that would be devastating. That would be absolutely gutting. Left back with the midfield, were the two areas we really needed to improve on. And if I see Ashley Young running down that left-hand side next season, I know we're not going to win a Premier League title, and I've said that so many times. But Sandro, it depends who you want to believe. There's some stories saying that we've got a deal done with Sandro, we're waiting to get the fee done, and he'll be a United player. There's some stories saying that he's going to PSG, and he's done a deal with them, and they're waiting to go over the line. And there's other stories saying that Manchester United aren't in for a left-back, Young will be the first choice left back. Delo, Ro, 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 Rojo and Shaw will be the backup, which is which is the painful one. So we'll have to wait and see what happens with that. But you would expect that to be resolved this week. You would expect Bale to be resolved this week. And if those two deals go against us, Bale stays at Real Madrid, Sandro goes to PSG, where does that leave us? Seriously, where does that leave us? Because Chelsea are in for Milinkovic Savic now. Not that we were in for him anyway, but maybe we were, maybe we weren't, maybe we've backed off because Fellaini's staying. But Chelsea get a new manager last week, get Jorginho on the weekend. They're now going for Milinkovic Savic. They'll probably get Higuain or Icardi. They're looking very, very strong. Where are we? Where are we? If we don't get Bale and Sandro, where are we? And I don't see it. I don't see where we're going to go. I, I, I've got no idea who the right. I mean, Willian. Willian and Fred would be a massively disappointing summer, wouldn't it? But I don't know where we're going to go. One interesting thing that does come to mind is Geddes, who's who was formerly of Benfica. Then he went to PSG and then he spent most of last season on loan at Valencia with Pereira. The thought was that he would go to Valencia. The thought was then that Arsenal might come in for him, but PSG want around 60 to 70 million pounds for him. United have been tentatively linked to him. Um, the source isn't that good. I saw it through Don Ballon in the Daily Star, so it's probably a load of nonsense. Um, likening him to the next Ronaldo. I tell you what, I saw him in the World Cup. Uh, I saw him play for Valencia. He looked very confident. In the World Cup, he looked like a player in the shadow of Ronaldo. He's a decent player, but I wouldn't want Manchester United to spend 60 or 70 million pounds on him. I think he's um, there's better out there for that amount of money. And also, I'm just not convinced that he could do it in the Premier League. I'd rather Arsenal went and did that than us. But that name's been mentioned. Benucci keeps getting mentioned around Manchester United. Now, I like Benucci. He's a very good centre-back, one of the best centre-backs in the world. But the problem with Benucci for me is that he's early 30s. He's only ever played in Serie A. And I, I, somebody messaged me about this yesterday, last week, and said... You're being really con condescending to the Italian league and you clearly don't watch it because you keep saying it's slow. I've been watching Italian football since 1990. It used to be on Channel 4. Golazzo. And I know it's always been slow. Every, every Any pundit, any player will tell you that the Italian league is slow compared to the Premier League because it's more tactical. Uh, they play deeper. And it's always been slightly slower. And that's why Pogba's taken time to adjust. And that's why some people do. And Benucci would struggle in the Premier League at his age and having played in Serie A his career, dealing with people like Jamie Vardy, 
buzzing around him like a fly around a horse turd. He would. He would struggle with the pace of the Premier League. Um, I think Socrates that Arsenal have signed is going to so- really struggle with the pace of the Premier League. He can be a very good centre-back in, in international football in certain leagues, but the Premier League will expose you if you're not good at dealing with speed. It's the one thing that's really important. But we do keep getting linked to Benucci, which I do find interesting. Um, I don't want him. I do like him. But I think it's more to do with our AC Milan financial fair play and maybe needing to offload a bit of money. But um, he could find himself in the Premier League. He could find himself at Chelsea, I suppose. But uh, see what happens with that. Perisic, I don't see Perisic happening. As we said last night, Mourinho came out with the line. Um, don't know why we didn't. he didn't come to Manchester when I wanted him. Um, and as I said, some people have took this that he snubbed us. I don't, I don't read that statement like that. I read that as I don't know why he didn't come when I wanted him. Um, because we were trying to get him, and I don't. I think he didn't come because we didn't pay the money, and that's just Mourinho's may, way of saying it. But I mean, Perisic a year ago was worth it. Perisic now a year older, um, touching thirty, and probably going to cost more than he did a year ago because he did come out of the World Cup with his reputation enhanced. I don't see United doing that at all. But um, he's a good player, and I think what he has shown in this World Cup to those people who, who didn't ever know anything about Perisic is that he would have given us a hell of a lot to our side. Really would have done, wouldn't he? He's two-footed, can put a cross in the box, high energy, physical, fast. He would have been a really good player for us. And, you know, I'm with Jose. I don't know why we never got that deal over the line. Probably because we're acting like a business and not a football club trying to save money here, there and everywhere. But um, I think he would have been absolutely fantastic for Manchester United. And I really do wish that we'd gone and done it. I really, really do. Um, Just talking about the US tour, because we will be doing stuff around the US tour this week. We're going to do previews, match reactions, watch along. The first one is in the early hours of Friday morning UK time. So we've got the US tour covered for you and we will be feeding it into shows this week. Uh, Please do drop a like on the transfer on the video below. That'd be fantastic. But in relation to the... um, in relation to the US tour, so the squad that we've got for it, if people aren't aware of it, because I did read it out last night, I did read it out uh, for people last night. But as I said, the midfield is massively interesting because you've only got a mid- the midfield players are Garner, kid, Herrera, experience, Pereira, McTominay, Hamilton. McTominay, Hamilton, Pereira, Herrera, Garner. That's massively inexperienced, that midfield. And we've got to play a midfield from that. The defence, Valencia experienced, Darmian shouldn't be there, Delo, new signing. Then you've got Fozy Menza, Roshan Williams, Smalling, Bay, Twan CB, Mitchell, Shaw. So there's a mix of experience in the back and the front. And hopefully we'll retake that to give some of the kids a go. And then in the attacking positions, you've got Chong, Gomez, Mata, Martial, Greenwood, Bowie. I mean, obviously Alexis Sanchez as well. Um, he will be going, but the, the 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 midfield is where there's going to be some real opportunity to see some of these youngsters play. Because you could play Mata, Martial and Sanchez and not play any of the kids, but we will do. It'll do 45 minutes here and there. So there's a real exciting element to that US tour. I can't wait. I really can't wait to see it because... Uh, you know, I'm a big fan of Chong. I like Gomez. I think Greenwood. I'd love to get to see him get in a few minutes. Dimitri Mitchell as well. So we are. That is going to be the exciting side of it. But are the reason I mentioned it in a transfer show is are any of those players realistically players that we're going to say we don't need to sign a Sandro, we don't need to sign a Bale, and the short the short answer is no. These players are not going to be involved next season. I can't see it in a million years ever happening. But what we are going to get is to see some of these players in Manchester United shirts, which is going to be very exciting. Anyway, give us your comments below. What are you thinking? D-Day for Bale? D-Day week? D-Week for um, Sandro? Perisic, I can't see it happening. Benucci, what are your thoughts on that? Geddes? Lots of them. I think it's going to be a big week. I think it's going to be a big week. Uh, do drop a like on the video. Get your comments below. And obviously, we are going to be live tonight at 8 o'clock with the Skype show. And if anything happens during the day, we'll go live as normal. Thanks, everyone, for watching. World Cup's gone. It's all about United now. Fasten your seatbelts. I think it's going to be a busy couple of weeks. And next season, who knows what it's going to bring. I'll speak to you all soon.